more than two hours time. Here the motor will be rotating this particular flywheel for more than two hours because the angular acceleration and inertia will be helping this particular system to rotate and the rotations will be observing one particular common factor that is the inertia will be common in every particular rotation but the angular acceleration will differ in 3 seconds, 5 seconds, 10 seconds time. This is the flywheel. This flywheel is attached to this particular design in such a way that anybody with a little energy can rotate this particular flywheel freely. See, I am rotating 8 tons with just one hand. I am not in a position to push it with a lot of force but with a little force I am in a position to rotate it freely and efficient. So this should be the flywheel alignment. The bearings in this particular uh, hub, the, the bearings are there to rotate this particular flywheel and the entire weight is on this particular plumber blocks. The plumber blocks are the main factor to rotate this particular flywheel freely. So in this way, when we are in a position to rotate this particular uh, flywheel, with a comfortable energy coming from one particular hand that is my left hand and we are rotating 8 tons of the flywheel very efficiently so when we are using our little energy we are in a position to rotate a bigger rpm I mean say a bigger uh, weight and when we are using the motor the motor will be in a position to rotate it much more efficiently thereby the motor will be rotating this particular flywheel with non-stop rpm thereby generating clean and green energy. In this, the flywheel is a disc. So the disc is having little amount of energy. But the torus flywheel, which is having a ring type torus, will be generating the maximum. So always use the torus ring flywheel for generation of clean energy. This is called a plumber block. The plumber block is the house for the bearings. The bearings are inside this plumber block. The bearings are attaching this particular shaft. This is the shaft attached to the flywheel. The shaft is pushed inside the bearings and the bearing is locked in the plumber block. The plumber block will help this particular thing to balance this particular flywheel when it is rotating in high RPMs. So what we are doing, we are, we, are, we are making a guide bearing over here. We are making a guide bearing in this particular area where two bearings will be supporting this particular shaft here. One side this one and one side that one. So that the guide bearings here will help the rotation and allow this particular plumber block not to have the full stress but the stress is divided between this bearing and this bearing. These are the supportive bearings to the plumber block bearings. So in this way, the design part is a it is explained in a, a much efficient way so that when we are constructing a particular flywheel for power generation the care should be taken that there will be two bearings to support this particular shaft and then this particular shaft should be resting on this particular bearings and the plumber cup is helping this particular thing only to rotate the shaft of the flywheel thereby the stress is not put on the plumber block bearings uh, this is the generator attached to the last flywheel. The flywheel is rotating at 3 to 6000 rpm in 10 seconds. This is the plumber block. The plumber block is having the flange. The flange is attached with the generator. So the generator rpm is always lower than the rpm of the flywheel. The flywheel when it is rotating at 3000 to 6000 in between 3 to 6000 rpm, the generator will be rotating at 1000 in between 150 rpm we can we can decide the generator rpm by adjusting the poles of the generator and when we are using this 3000 rpm or 6000 rpm we are using 1000 to 750 rpm or to the maximum 150 rpm so in this the pmg the permanent magnet generator is the most deciding factor with because the lower rpm is uh, making the higher rpm to coincide in this particular area where the higher rpm will be rotating a lower rpm generator the weight of this particular rotor is lesser than the weight of the flywheel the flywheel is always on the higher side and the generator rotor is always on the lower side the diameter of the flywheel is 3 meters the rotor diameter is 0.015 meter cube area that is uh, 9256 cubic inches is the gener generator rotor area thereby the difference in this particular dimensions should also be taken care when we are 
generating energy. When we are using a higher RPM flywheel and a lower RPM generator, this is the key for success for generator generating clean and green energy. This is the PMD variable frequency flywheel. This flywheel we are using to control the heads, the RPM and the voltage while running the flywheel. With a lower head and a lower voltage, that is the, the voltage is fixed after a certain RPM, but here the heads are low and uh, in VFD we can, we can control uh, according to the design given by the engineering sector. This control panel, in this control panel, the uh, power is generated and the power uh, consumed by the motor. Both are monitored. The control panel is having a particular connection to the motor and an outgoing connection to the generator also. Thereby, the control panel will help us in monitoring the input and the output. So, this is the timer belt. This belt is connecting the series of flywheels. So, this belt will be having the capacity to rotate this particular flywheel from 3000 to 6000 RPM. It depends on the design of the belt. So here, uh, when we are using this particular belt, we should take so many precautions for not having uh, a slip in the rotation. Thereby, when the slip is there, then the flywheel will not give you the maximum output. Thereby, we should use the timer belt. The timer belt will give this particular rotation a healthy RPM. The flywheel, uh, uh, say, the pulley to the flywheel should be to the outer shaft. The shaft should be here, uh, the, the, the pulley should be uh, uh, mounted to this particular shaft. Thereby the uh, pulley, what we are using, a bigger pulley can become a smaller pulley. Thereby the losses in this particular pulley can be curtailed. This, this motor is having the particular capacity to rotate this particular flywheel through the pulley. But this particular design is having a flaw because this is having a negative engineering effect because the more the bends, the more the efficiency is coming down. So thereby what we are planning in this particular sector to get the design improved is the motor will be here, the gearbox will be here, attached by the flange, the gearbox output shaft will be having the flywheel, the flywheel will be having a particular flywheel next to it in a, in a parallel way and then the, fly, the alternator is connected. So in this way the design should be made but not in this way. This way you are having lot of loss because the pulleys are eating away maximum torque which is generated by the flywheel. Thereby to lose this particular torque, that is to make this torque additional to the flywheel generation, then the, the design should be in the, in the parallel way but not in this particular sector. So this one should understand. So we are making this particular flywheel. Why we are making this? We want to study the negative engineering. Once you study the negative engineering, then the positive engineering will automatically give you good results. As of today, we are having a lot of good results in this particular sector. We are generating more energy than the input. The, if the input is 17 amps, the output is 28 amps. So in this way, the negative engineering is giving us the help to know exactly what the design should be made like. Because in the negative engineering, the bad points are recognized and then the improvements are made in such a way that the efficiency of the flywheel RPM is giving the better result for more power generation. Hello, this is the motor which is used to rotate this particular flywheel. This motor capacity is 20 kW. The 20 kW motor is connected to a particular flywheel. This flywheel is 5 tons in weight. This is the drive. This drive flywheel is connected to the driven fly flywheel. The driven flywheel is 3 tons in the 3 ton flywheel. This is driven, this is called the driven flywheel, that is the 5 ton flywheel. The 5 ton flywheel is connected to the 3 ton flywheel. The 5 ton flywheel is connected to the 20 kilowatt motor. The 20 kilowatt motor will be rotating the 5 ton. The 5 ton will be rotating the 3 ton. Thereby, the train is formed, the, the, the 
airplane is having so much of efficiency that 20 kilowatt motor is used to rotate 8 tons of uh, flywheel. This this is the generator connected to the driven flywheel. The driven flywheel is rotating the generator. Here the generator will be in a, in a position to rotate at 1000 rpm. This is rotating at 2000 rpm. The flywheel, the, both the flywheels are rotating at 2000 rpm. This generator is rotating at 1000 rpm. So in this way, the ampere consumption to this particular thing is 28 amps are generated every hour. And the amps consumed by the motor are 15 amps. So in this way, we are generating more amps than the consumption that is input amp. If it is 15, the output amp is 28. Well, uh, we are very grateful to you for watching this particular video. And we give you our uh, heartfelt thanks to you. In this way, myself, Chaganti Bala and Chaganti Arjun, we three are the designers for this particular flywheel design generation. So from our three people, we are giving you our heartfelt thanks and accept our heartfelt thanks.